Good day! So, kids, start na ulit tayo sa ating panibagong video lesson. So, ito nga pala ang inyong teacher, Joanne. So, I hope may matutunan kayo for today. So, ang ating next topic is still about quadratic equation. So, proceed tayo sa ating next method in solving quadratic equation and it is by completing the square. So, ano po ba ang completing the square? So, it is another method of solving or getting the solution of a quadratic equation. This relationship allows, allow us to form a perfect square trinomial ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 by adding a proper constant term. So, ano nga ba itong perfect square trinomial? So, malalaman natin yan sa next slide. So, let us have an illustrative example of how to apply completing the square. Number 1, find the solution set of x squared minus 4x minus 60 is equal to 0. So, dito class, meron tayong mga appropriate steps na kailangan sundin in order for us to get the solution set or the roots of, a give, of the given quadratic equation. Una, check if it is in standard form. Palagi natin yung huwag kakalimutan. So, in this case, naka-standard form na siya. Remember ang standard form natin, it is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Next is, rewrite the equation where the constant term is on the other side. So, yung constant natin dito is negative c. So, ililipat lang natin siya sa right side ng equation. So, remember class, apply natin dito si addition property of equality o yung tinatawag natin na APE. Okay? Pero, syempre, para mas madali ang buhay, pwede natin i-transpose na lang yung negative 60 sa right side. Huwag nyo lang kakalimutan yung rules natin. Pag nagtatranspose kayo ng isang term sa, side, sa isang side ng equation, palagi kayo mag-change ng sign. Ngayon, ito, this is negative 6. Pag nil, uh, 60, ililipat natin sa right, magiging positive 60 na siya. Next. Okay, so sa case na to, kukunin natin, gagamitin natin yung numerical coefficient ng ating leading term. And ang leading term natin ay negative 4x. Ang leading term ay negative 4x. Ang kanyang numerical coefficient ay negative 4. Hindi po kasama yung x ha. Next natin, take half of b. Ang b ay negative 4. Kukunin mo yung kalahate. Yung kalahate is square mo. Okay? Or follow the formula, quantity b over 2 squared. Okay? So, paano ba yon? Ito ay magiging, o oh, gamit yung formula, ginamit yung formula, yung b, papalitan mo lang ng negative 4, ayan, substitution lang. And then, negative 4, ito, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. And naka-square pa siya. Okay? So, negative 2 squared, naka-parenthesis yan, therefore, ang sagot ay positive 4. etong positive 4 ang importante sa lahat. Okay? So, gagamitin natin, natin yan. Next step. Add the square to each side of the equation. So, itong 4 na to, idadagdag mo ngayon siya sa left and right side ng ating equation. So, yung ating x squared minus 4x plus 4, eto yan. Dito nakuha yan, na And then, sa 60 plus 4 ka ulit. Okay? Ito yung ginamit natin na Ito yung ginamit natin na equation. Okay po. Ayan yun. Sunod. O, syempre, simplify mo. O, yung ginamit dito, write the, write the left side as perfect square trinomial. Ito na yung sinasabi ko. Perfect square trinomial. Paano ba to? Uh, perfect square trinomial na yung left side natin. Okay? So, ang gagawin lang natin is, i gagawin natin siyang square of two binomials. So, paano yan? Square ng x squared ay x. Okay? Then, pagka ang, give, ang perfect square trinomial kasi ito na yon, Ito yung perfect square trinomial. 
minus 4x plus 4. So, minus yung ating square of binomial. And then, ang square root ng 4 ay 2. So, ayan. Tapos, ilagay mo sila sa parentheses and in square, yun na yung ating sagot. Equals, 60 plus 4 ay 64. Use the square root property to solve for x. Square root property, both side ay naka-square. Okay? Both side ay naka-square root. Okay? Next, so simplify. Ito. Square ito. Square root din yan. Maka-cancel yan. Maka-cancel na to. So, ang matitira, x minus 2. And then, ang square root ng 64, may dalawa tayong sagot, positive and negative. Simplify natin. So, x minus 2 is equal to ang square root ng 64 ay positive and negative 8. Next natin, hindi pa yun yung sagot kasi wala pa tayong roots. So, kukunin natin yung roots, yung value ng x. Gamitin muna natin si positive 8. Okay? Kasi positive and negative yan. So, isa lang muna gamitin mo. Positive 8 muna. So, x minus 2 is equal to 8. Okay? Then, Transpose ang negative 2 sa right, magiging positive. So, x is positive 10. Nagamit mo na yung positive 8, gamitin mo naman ngayon yung negative 8. So, instead of positive 8, negative 8 naman siya ngayon. x minus 2 is equal to negative 8. Transpose ang negative 2 sa right, magiging positive 2. So, x is negative 8 plus 2 ay negative 6. Therefore, ang roots natin ay 10 and negative 6. And the, the solution set is negative 6, 10. Ganyan lang siya. Next example. Uh, find the solution set of x squared minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. O, ganun ulit. Check if it is in standard form. And it is already in standard form. Next, rewrite the constant term. Ayan, lilipat mo lang yung constant mo sa right. So, this, uh, in this case, ang constant ay positive 8. Ililipat mo sa, left, sa right side ng equation. So, magiging negative 8. And this time, ang b natin, ang value ng b, ng ang numerical coefficient ng ating b ay negative 6 kasi ang ating b ay negative 6x. So, ang value ng b mo ay negative 6. Sundin natin yung formula. Okay? Yung ating formula, b over 2 squared. Quantity b over 2 squared. Yung b, palitan mo lang siya ng negative 6. Ito yung b mo ha. Negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. Naka-square. Ang quantity negative 3 squared ay positive 9. Okay, so yung 9, yung nakuha nating sagot na 9, ito, i-add natin yan, both side of the equation. So, magiging x squared minus 6x plus 9. Ito yung ating perfect square trinomial. Si x squared minus 6x plus 9, siya yung ating perfect square trinomial. Equals negative 8 plus 9. Kalang, harangan na siya. Wait. Okay. So, pagkatapos, yung left side, gawin natin siyang perfect square or gawin natin siyang square of perfect square of binomial. So, square root ng x, uh, square ng x squared ay x. Oh, tapos, ang square root ng 9 ay 3. Then, minus yung nasa gitna, tapos naka-square lang siya. And then, equals, negative 8 plus 9 ay positive 1. Square root property, square mo lang both sides. So, ito ay magiging, makakancel ito ngayon. Kasi square sila pareho. So, we have x minus 1 is equal to positive negative square root of 1. Ang 1 ay perfect square po ha. Then, simplify natin. Okay, so x minus 3 is equal to positive negative 1. So, ang square root ng 1 ay positive negative 1. Then, isa-isay natin ang paggamit ng values. Gamitin muna natin ay positive 1. So, x minus 3 equals positive 1 muna. Transpose negative 3 sa right, magiging positive 3. Therefore, 
x is positive 4. 1 plus 3 ay 4. Next, gamitin natin negative 1. Use negative 1, so a negative 1 naman ngayon yung ating gamit. Transpose negative 3 sa, sa right, so magiging positive 3. Then, x is positive 2. Negative 1 plus 3 ay positive 2. Therefore, ang roots natin ay 4 and 2. And ang solution set ay 2, 4. Ganito po ang pagsusulat ng solution set ha. Naka-enclose po sila, para, uh, naka-enclose yan sa braces. Okay? Next. Let's have the last example. So, find the solution set of 4x squared minus 8x plus 1 is equal to 0. This time, ang a natin ay greater than 1. So, a is greater than 1. Kapag ang a natin ay greater than 1, kailangan natin i-divide lahat ng nandito sa equation dun sa numerical coefficient ng ating quadratic term o yung a. So, paano po ba yung sinasabi ko? Okay, so let's have Check if it is in standard form and it is in standard form. Lipat natin si constant sa right. So, it is positive 1. Pag nilipat, magiging negative 1. Next, ito yung sinasabi ko. Divide both sides by the leading coefficient a and simplify. So, ang a natin ay positive 4. Ito ay galing dito. Okay po. Kapag meron kang numerical coefficient o yung a mo ay mas mataas sa 1, i-divide mo yung lahat ng terms mo dun sa value ng a. So, divide mo lang yan. So, 4x squared divided by 4 ay x squared. Negative 8 divided by 4 ay... Sorry, may x dapat dito ha? Okay po. Negative 8x divided by 4 ay negative 2x. Negative 1 divided by 4 ay negative 1 fourth. Okay po, wala pong gagamit ng decimal. Okay? Next, this time ang B natin ay negative 2. Okay po. Then, take half of B. O, oh, ito yung kanina. Half of B, then square mo siya. So, ang i-add natin sa both side ng equation ay 1. So, ito yon. Okay po. Oh, na naulit lang siya. Ito dapat ay B base sa ating formula. Okay po. Um, yung B natin ay negative 2. So, negative 2, eto. Negative 2 divided by 2 ay negative 1. Naka-square yan. So, we have 1. Ang sagot, negative quantity, negative 1 squared ay 1. Next. Add a square. O, eto yung 1. I-add natin both side ng equation. So, we have x squared minus 2x plus 1 Para sa ating perfect square trinomial, ang perfect square trinomial natin, x squared minus 2x plus 1, equals negative 1 fourth plus 1. Okay, unin natin ang uh, square of binomial. Ang square root ng x squared ay x. Ang square root ng 1 ay 1. Tapos minus yun nasa gitna, then naka-square lang siya. Ito, um... Okay, next. Then, negative 1, 1 fourth plus 1 is 3 fourth. Okay? Negative 1 fourth plus 1. O, oh, syempre, dapat alam nyo na how to perform addition of fraction. Okay? Next natin. Use the square root property. So, square root mo lang yan. Kakancel yung radical sign mo kasi ito ay squared. And then, we have x minus 1 is equal to positive, negative, square root of 3 over 2. Bakit over 2 na lang to? Ang square root kasi ng 4 ay 2. Okay? Eh, hindi naman perfect square ang 3. So, ang square root ng 3, may, may, uh, magkakaroon pa din siya ng square root. Hindi matatanggal yung square root na kasi hindi naman siya perfect square. Ang perfect square lang between 3 and 4 ay si 4. And ang square root ng 4 ay 2. So, therefore, ang square root of 3 4 magiging square root of 3 over 2 na lang. And it is also positive negative. Okay? Kasi dalawa ang ating value. 
dalawa ang square root natin. Next, use positive 3, a positive square root of 3 over 2 muna. So, x minus 1 is equal to positive 3 over 2. Okay? And then, eto, tinranspose na siya. Dapat wala na to. Pakiano na lang po, ha? Ayan. Tanggal na po dapat yan. Ayan. So, x is equal to square root of 3 over 2 plus 1. Tinranspose na yung negative 1 sa right. So, therefore, ang ating first value ng x ay 1 plus square root of 3 over 2. Then, gamit naman yung negative 3 over 2, we have a negative square root of 3 over 2. Excuse lang. We have, o oh, ito yung 1, tinranspose na din dito si negative 1. So, ang sagot natin ay 1 minus the square root of 3 over 2. Ang roots natin ngayon ay 1 plus square root of 3 over 2 and 1 minus the square root of 3 over 2. Hindi sila magkapareho kasi isa tong positive, yung isa naman ay negative. So therefore, ang solution set natin ay 1 plus the square root of 3 over 2, 1 minus the square root of 3 over 2. So that's it. Thank you for watching. So I hope meron kayong naintindihan. And huwag niyong kakalimutan na mag-subscribe at i-click ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong lesson. Bye!